<laughs> Hello guys, this is Zorlak here. Today on this video, we're just talking about attacking stairs, um, you know, and and well, getting control of stairs and attacking A from stairs. All right. So basically, that's it. Uh, we are going to do a couple of trick shots and stuff like that. We need to basically cover the two ways of getting controls of stairs, the the, the main ways at least. So which are like. Um, going suicide or stay out right, right stay out it's this place over here so for starters we are just getting control of stairs from the two sides all right so let's let's just go stay out if you go stay out you can just smoke if you want i like to use three flashes you can just use two one is this one is that one all right and the other one well you can just throw it right here and use it like this or you can throw it right there, right? And use it like this. You know, just make sure you peek before it blows. So you can get them, you know, turning turning around. You need to care when you're jumping suicide because it's obviously very good to take control of stairs very quickly. But the boost stairs kind of counters this play. So you need to care. That's why these three flashes are all good. And uh, that's why you shouldn't make it alone. Because um, these three flashes are really, really important. And when you are sending the flash, um, especially the last two, this one, you know. When you're sending this one, and especially this one, for example, okay, or, or that way, do you need cover from the second guy that's coming with you to just provide cover? Because if they get boosted and with good spawn or something, you can get counter terrorists just right out of here. And well, it's just an easy trade, all right? But you just need to take care. If you are doing this alone, I normally just get control of this and I don't even flash. I just stay here for a little bit. That's why I like to smoke meat. So I get con I got a little bit of cover and I wait if they boosted or not. If they didn't boost, I'll just hug this wall over here and then I'll, I'll probably ask for a pop flash. All right. So basically, this is it. Three flashes, one smoke to the doors. You, you need to, you, you would probably be better just talking to your teammates and coordinating yourself, uh, just saying that you are going to flash mid and flash, uh, flash the first four stairs and uh, letting the, the guy that is supporting you flash the, the first one, um, the last one, you know, the third one. But so, but this is your call. If you just use the first two, I already show you how to behave. So if you're attacking from stay out, well, basically you just need to put a flash on Xbox a smoke sorry on xbox which is pretty easy to do just make sure you are looking to the ground okay because i see a lot of people doing this smoke like this they just come here and they go like this well it's not like this you just you just aim like this and like this she will never fail okay so the, f the smoke is there and you just wait one second after it blows up i need to show you again because it takes so long to blow up you, you need to be very careful and very patient okay let's see it's just 20 seconds okay she's gone let's put it again and wait okay see she takes her time now she's going to blow up as you can hear and then you wait like one second because of an awp shot then you pre-fire here okay you do not flash okay and you just provide okay so Take care of this, take care of this, and especially take care of this. Because many counter-terrorists like to hug this wall. Especially if they have like CZs or 5.7s, you know. They would like that play. Get right was the first guy I saw using that play. And Jesus Christ, after that it got really on fashion, you know. So be careful about that play. So when you get control of stairs, now we need to take off. I mean, this is Z. I like to call this catwalk. This is Z and this is stairs. Like I, I talked to you on the, a previous video on this too. So after you get control of Z, this is how I show myself, you know, to the stairs. You see like this, just a good pre-fire here. But then I either ask for a pop flash for me to show myself to Kenny S or I'll simply hug the wall. So I just come here and show myself here and then I hug the wall and, and do a double step. But hugging the wall, this is because of the crosshair placement of the Kenny S position or even right here, right? The guys right here, they use the, the, the crosshair placement like this, okay? If you show yourself with double step, you will be like this, like here. So, and, and with double step, they really need to, to make a flick shot to kill you. But the flick shot to the left side, it's one thing. A flick shot to the left and, to, and downwards, it's hard to do with your mouse. It's a mechanic that 
it's not that common when you are playing counter strike right when you do a flick shot downward so they will fail this shot a lot of times and they are very committed for this shot with when they go for Kenya's position with the Nedi Blue P. Okay, if they get a rifle, you will just destroy the first shot of the M4, and you can just simply headshot him easily if they if they if they are on Kenya's position or or they are playing up uh, beside uh, you know behind this box right here. So just hug the wall, double step, and kill him. Okay, then you need to care. You need to cover here. You need to cover here, and careful here. Okay, so. Now that we get stairs controlled, so we already got stairs controlled, we need to attack A. So there are a lot of ways of attacking A. One of them is jumping spawn, but we are we will cover that uh, when we, we when we see um, when we copy a tactic, right? Um, it's going to be from Cloud9 that execute uh, with two guys jumping spawn, and it is a pretty good execute. I like watching Cloud9, and I like watching uh, NA teams playing this two a lot. Because they are very simple in terms of the way of, of, uh, of terms of the way how they execute, and they are actually very very good. Okay, so this is the first way we do it. Okay, if you're attacking with people, this is the best smoke for you to take. Okay, this smoke will give you the the, the possibility of just looking for something here. Okay, but you can actually be countered from an AWP. You can boost people here, and especially and most importantly you like will have like 10 seconds where you don't do anything because it will fly they will send a lot of grenades and molotovs and stuff like that so you just wait for the, the smoke if they spam too much or too or too too late just put another smoke there because you have enough smokes like to re-smoke the same place and they won't have the same the, the a lot of utility anyway so expect for uh, grenades and molotovs and flashes to drop here and rain here okay that's not a problem you are not doing an explosive tactic you can actually rotate me to be if you want to so you're just luring with this with this smoke you can actually flash once or you you can either you know smoke oops sorry you can either smoke and put the molotov on site just to lure them don't even commit to that molotov they won't be there if they are very good they won't be there if you're playing on a low level counter strike they will probably be there but if they are if you're playing with a team or something just lure the spam to stairs okay so after that let's do it okay so we have the smoke right here how do we spam well the molotov you already see it to the bomb site right this is how you put it now we will, i will show you molotov to the single box which is right there okay this is very good you can, you can see the counter terrorist for being he, he needs to be all the way out you understand no protection whatsoever for him to shoot here he'll be for him to shoot you understand he will be out of cover completely it's very hard this is and uh, on on uh, on uh, a ramp but, well that's the place where most of people play right it's a very strong position to get two kills easily so that molotov you know you just put you just hug this place you just put your crosshair to the to the center and a little bit down okay this is the trick how to put it okay but you need to put it you need to learn how to throw it with the smoke there all right so basically that's it okay so just jump once get a glimpse and pray for it not to fail you will get used to it uh, after some tries it won't fail anyway I, I i don't fail this molotov because i use it every single time i come stairs basically so that's why i i don't fail it okay so in terms of flash i already showed you okay you got this one and then you got this one which is really tricky okay this one is really really tricky I will face some I'll, I will fail some of it this one makes a living hell out of that uh, of that AWP on car and it doesn't flash your teammates they don't even get half blind and trust me it flashes completely the AWP so it's very important for you to nail it but it's very hard to do it see I just failed okay just practice it hardcore okay so Aside from that, you can be playing alone. If you're playing alone, I like a one-way smoke, right? One-way smokes are always a little bit fun. You have uh, YouTube crowded with one-way smokes. So I'll just give this one to you. I think you already know it. Okay, and you have a one-way smoke here, right? You can look for something, okay? So basically, this is it. Um, this is the type of uh, utility I like to spend. So Molotov, you either Molo, site. if you have a partner, 
ask him to Molo Bomb Sandy and you take care of that one. Always use that the, the other smoke that I showed you to prepare for this Molotov and to prepare for the flashes too. I'm going to miss. No, I got it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's very it's very hard, man. It's I, I do think it's hard. <clears throat> so if you if you want to flash like the problem about flashing here, you know, it's because of the ground. You understand? The ground is just very it has problems, you know? So you can actually flash here, but see? The ground many times just it's not like in 1.6 times, you know? This is just uh, You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm missing the word in English. You have to excuse me, you know, for being Portuguese guys, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I use that flash. I love that flash. If you don't like it, well, get something different. You can actually probably, you know, uh, get figure something out um, in terms of that well flashing upwards is very important using two molos and that smoke is also very important don't don't forget what i'm telling you when i say that uh, when you use this smoke wait a little bit okay because if they have grenades or molotovs they will use it if, if they have flashes they will use it don't be afraid to attack this versus two guys that's not a problem whatsoever okay and after 10 seconds of this smoke this guy is going to run ct anyway and you can lure him with a with a ct smoke uh, on the you know right there so you know in terms of tactics with your team there's a lot of things you can do just lure the spam don't get the grenades on your face because that will hurt you okay so basically this is it uh, about attacking a i need to talk to you about another thing which is very simple a site uh, is very hard to hold in after plant situation especially if you don't have uh, uh, um, long control so your lurkers are very important if you have a lurker on on mid and if you have a lurker on a they should work around with you and their their um, their presence i don't know what type of presence will they have if they want to flank a retake so when the the cities are retaking from spawn you you will just push you push mid and kill them from behind or when the cities are coming from long to retake a you will just push long and flank them you know or if of or or, or if they are uh, you know avoiding the backup like getting aggro on mid doors and surprising cities that are that they are uh, rotating uh, to to city spawn um, or uh, like happy likes to do uh, lets them letting them rotate after bo the bomb gets planted he starts lurking uh, from b and he starts killing people from b doors to the city spawn so there's a lot of things the lurking here it's really important um you don't you don't need like like uh, 100 people attacking stairs to be able to plant the bomb so you can actually lurk with two players but th th those players actions are insanely important for the outcome of this round okay your main job would be to plant the bomb obviously uh, and basically that's it okay if you if you find yourself in a position where you can be you know flanked from long or uh, they are coming CT or even stairs, don't be afraid to pick them. Don't be afraid to go full aggro on them. I, I, I know it sounds a little bit risky because you have the bomb planted, you're playing with the time on your favor, but if you play too defensive, defending inside bomb site or goose, you will eventually die. There's no way you will kill all of them by that, by, by that uh, play because basically it will be from the time you kill the first guy, the second one with the info that he has, it will be almost impossible to win that fight because you have no idea from where he's going to contact with you right because it's just too much pressure so don't be afraid of just go full hardcore mode and win those 1v1s and provoke them on stairs you know or just peek through through ct you know or just ask for pop flashes from a guy that is going stairs for you for him to pop long from you and when the pop flashes goes you just go full hardcore mode and look for them and you just get free kills so you need to be active and aggressive defending this pop site uh, aside from that i just remember the molotov which is actually pretty good too let's see i never use it but it is very because i i already showed you the one i use but this one is actually good no okay is it here okay it is here we will just check if it burns correctly i think it is like like here on this uh, point and then you need to put it on the middle of that balcony okay just put it on the middle okay and it will burn it will burn 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 all right so it's a very good molotov for um for goose position i'll show i showed you already a lot of well cool tricks uh the, the execute to go spawn and the smokes to go 
to go down i'll show you on another video when we will copy a cloud9 execute here actually i think we are going to copy from them like two executes because they have two different executes one to just attack city spawn and the other one to drop but to attack uh well to just go city ramp up and attack this place in here on long okay guys i think um, we talked about mainly everything and uh, i'll see you on next video right okay Good luck with your games, guys. I'm Zorlek and I'm out, okay? Bye-bye.